I'd imagine so. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and when we're we going to put this? <laughs> Welcome to our Sunday hangout thing with no name. <laughs> How are we doing? Sunday hangout with no name. Ah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind today. We drove back from the coast. We've been in Suffolk for the weekend. We're both exhausted. <laughs> Yes, shattered. But yes, and uh, we're not saucy enough for it in there. But when you're away in this charity shops, you like to have a wander about, right? So we exactly. bought, bought some goodies. What happens on holiday stays on holiday. <laughs> no, it doesn't. We bought it all home with us. So, yeah, good to see you all. Uh, we are live. If you're watching us live, you can interact. You can say hello and all that fun stuff. So please do. Um, let's do some hellos before we kick off. Our first in was Gary and Ben. Oh, and we had a gift turn up, which we need to share. Can't forget that one. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, hello, Ben. Tam and Bell, welcome. Uh, Steve. Even better than Hills on a Sunday night is Hills on a Sunday night. And a day off and a lie in. Oh, oh. Very nice, yes. Yes. Yeah, enjoy that. Um, hello, Pete. Good to see you. Here we come. Oh, I can hear the pitter-patter of tiny Jeff. Hello. Did you miss us for all of two minutes? I'm coming up, then. Uh, yeah, hi, Manage. Pete. Uh, editing yes. the latest charity shop footage. Oh, well, we've got to do that because you were filming a bit, weren't you? In, we kind of did a vlog of the weekend, which will be yeah, on Andrea's. Can it go on your channel? Yes. Link to Andrea's channel should be below if you're not subbed. Why not? Why not? Right, let's do a few more hellos. We have Pat is in. Chloe, good to see you. Oh, look, hi, Jeff. You weren't even here and you were getting hellos. Um, Sleaford. Welcome, Mark. There's Alan. Good to see you, Alan. Hope you're doing well. So, yeah, we're going to share some stuff. We haven't shared much stuff for a while. Um, virtually all of it is breakable. Where are you going? Are you, do you want to sit on me? Would you like to come and sit on me? What are you doing? <laughs> one foot on, one foot off. He doesn't know what he wants. He's exhausted as well. He has walked yeah, so far out. this weekend. We did a lot of walking today as well, didn't we? Yeah, on the beach, around the town, around another town, around another town, because we've been looking at areas, right, for buying houses. And oh. <laughs> and he's going to sleep. Yeah, and we did have a couple of house viewings. We're, we're still trying to get our heads around exactly what it is we want. And we looked at a couple of very different properties. Yeah. Neither of which we're going to buy. No, neither of which are right. <laughs> no, both were right in some ways and wrong in others. And it's a no. You have from to us. watch the blog to find out more about that. <laughs> yes. One was quite an experience. Did we talk about that experience much on the vlog? I'm not yeah. sure. Um, yeah, we did. Yeah. So we, we don't, yeah, you'll have to watch the vlog. <laughs> uh, welcome, Julian. We'll do a few more hellos. Leanne is in. Welcome. Hope you're well. And RH Tube. So good to see you all. I'm going to scroll to the end. Hello, everybody. Oh, there's a, lots of waffle there. What was that? Oh, just saying hello to everybody at once. Somebody was. Oh, gorgeous. Ah, well, what was that? Kev. Hi, guys. I've been restricted on eBay for seven days for a counterfeit item. It's a 40 year old cassette tape. I've asked how they know it's counterfeit, and they say because listing has less than six images. What? <laughs> that is nonsense. <laughs> because you've taken less than six pictures, it has to be that. What? What kind of logic is that? That's shocking. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry to hear you're going through that. We've been restricted a couple of times um, for, yeah. One was for a ridiculous reason. Yeah, it was. The other one was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sorry to hear that, Kev. That's 
that's just crazy. If that's the reason they've given. What? I'm oh, right. Exactly. I after asked if she was on drugs. Yeah. Deary me. Jeff, what do you think of that? Jeff, give us your input on this in that situation. Blank stare. Yes. Give eBay the big blank stare. Good plan. Terrible, Kev. I'm sorry to hear you're going through that. Right. Do you want to share some stuff? Yeah. Oh, we need oh, to do a yeah. thank you. Can you reach that? Um, I'm going to try it. Don't drop it. So we had a message which I had lost, and I've been scrambling around trying to find the message from somebody who said they found this. And you may think, okay, well, it's a stoneware jug. See, I was oblivious to this. I hadn't seen a message. You hadn't relay relayed it to me. So we opened this box, and I was a bit confused about it, I think. Because there was no note. Hillstonia. <laughs> it's a Hillstonia jug. It's huge. Have a sniff, Jeff. Yeah, there's any bombs in it. Everything that comes in the house. It? Everything that comes in the house <laughs> is checked for bombs. You, you sniff a dog. Why are you I, licking I like it? Yeah. Um, Oliver. I had to make a note because I'd forgotten who had messaged me completely. Thank you, Oliver. So Oliver took the trouble to, to send this over. And it's... A Hillstonia. We've never seen Hillstonia before. We? No. I don't know if Oliver's in. Are you in, Oliver? Say hi if you did. So that arrived the other day. It's yeah, a, it's so a cracker. We, um, yeah. It's huge. Unexpected. Oh, Gadget Man, thank you. Oh, hang on a minute. Um, would you like to read Gadget Man's message? Yes, he says, um, b and Bargains stock has been resold on Etsy as handmade for about for around five times the retail price. Etsy only took action after BBC Watchdog got involved. Wow, it's not the first I've heard about, you know, Chinese import stuff being put on mm -hmm. there as vintage. And yeah, they because they sell themselves as being vintage and craft and handmade they really sell that idea they're the ones that should be clamping down on it and they're just not no. so yeah i would i didn't see the watchdog thing no i didn't might have to look that up but thank you so much for the super chat we do appreciate it um okay there's a question above gadget man hello heather hi heather this one Paul Fletcher. Hi, Nick and Andrew. How did you find Felix Day? Well, we Google, put it into Google Maps. <laughs> and then we just got in the car and went. No. Um, how did you find Felix Day? My partner Sue and I source there sometimes as Suffolk residents. Yeah. Well, we've been to Felix Day once before. Yeah, we liked it. We um, really liked the feel of it. Yeah. We went back today um, because there was a house we had arranged a viewing on. Yeah. Um, and oh, we actually, we viewed two. We did view two in the end, yeah. One was just outside Chimney St. Mary. Yeah. And we stayed there. Initially, we had booked an Airbnb. And then this was quite a while ago we booked it. And then we got a Jeff. <laughs> and they were a non-dog friendly place. So we yeah. rang up and said, can we bring a dog, please? So, no. So thankfully, it, we were able to cancel that in time. Um, so we ended up staying at Suffolk Sands, didn't we? We ended up staying in a mobile home like kind holiday, of thing. holiday let yeah. Yeah, holiday static caravan but it was like bigger than our house it was so <laughs> huge it was massive. we did a little tour of the place so you need to check out andrew's video which won't be up for another day or two um yeah and had a good look around felix stone we really like it it's our Tell kind of our kind most, of vibe what? every charity shop was dog friendly and he was so spoiled <laughs> Jeff had treats in every every pub and charity shop we went in. Yep. They were all over him, like, can we give him some treats? So, yeah, you said at one point we might have to roll him home. <laughs> We're just getting treats everywhere. Yeah. Um, but, yes, we liked it. And not necessarily Felix Stowe, but that part of the world is top of our search list for houses. So Suffolk, Suffolk Coast. Um, Even though the last time we were raving about Ramsgate, which is <laughs> not, not quite as near. <laughs> no, and 
to be honest, Felix Stowe has a much nicer feel than Ramsgate. Ramsgate for me is is more because it takes me back to my childhood. Um, but yeah, yeah, Felix Stowe has a it, much it nicer feel. Hooks it, I think. Yes. Yes. Um, right. Let's read some chat before we share some stuff. Um, hi, Nick, Andrea, and Jeff from Scott and Amy. Amy had her first eBay sale today. She sold one of her handmade skulls. Oh, awesome. Wow, handmade skulls. Mm. That sounds intriguing. Good stuff. First of many, I'm sure. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got the heater on right next to me and the air's oh, getting very dry. Can That's going to... Turn it off now. Shall I turn that off? Yeah. Are you warm enough? Yeah, I've got a Jeff on me. <laughs> it's my hot water bottle. Yeah. Been changing all my listings so that I don't send to Russia. Right. Okay. Does anyone know if couriers are still sending to Russia? Just interested to know. I don't know the situation with couriers in Russia. I mean, obviously, a lot of no. Western businesses are pulling out. Yeah. So I don't know. I haven't really kept up with it because um, we use GSP. Mm. What are eBay doing? Do you know? I don't know. That's a very good question. Mm. We can still, you can still unselect certain yeah. countries, can't you? Yeah. Um, obviously, we've been keeping an eye on what's going on over there. Still, we're not going to go into it in depth, but just daily horrified. It's, yeah. yeah. Our thoughts are with the Ukraine still. Um, my two dogs are sat glued to crufts. Jeff would be. He goes wild sometimes oh, just, with dogs on the yeah. telly. I can't watch um, Paul O'Grady's For the Love of Dogs anymore because... <laughs> Oh. It gets so like hyper about the entire thing when there's yeah. a dog on the telly. He is he's very odd, isn't he? Because of course we there's met no loads dogs of dogs. On the telly now. We met loads of well. dogs at the weekend, didn't we? And he only kind of got all barky uh, a couple of big dogs. Yes, the little dogs. Fine. He's fine. He's scared of big dogs, and then he gets all aggressive, defensive, kind of, doesn't he? Yeah, we're not really aggressive. It's just well, as in like, loud. He's loud. <laughs> he's very he's loud. not aggressive. <laughs> no. He's just loud. Yeah, I think he's just, yeah, scared. Um, what is your favourite town or county for sourcing items? Well, we only really know Hertfordshire, yeah. don't we? Currently. <laughs> yeah. I mean, round here, Letchworth is quite good. We find mm. Letchworth's good. Hitchin's not bad at all. Not as good as it used to be, but mm -hmm. I, I think most places are like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, ah, here we go. Global shipping has stopped delivery to Ukraine and Russia. Okay, thank you. That would make sense. Man <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Managed to get the naughty gear I looked for, so going to list it soon. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's whiz to the end and we'll do we'll share some stuff. Uh, I'd love a more greener part of the country compared to Liverpool. The search continues, right? Suffolk's lovely in that sense. Really nice villages and small towns. Yeah. A couple of which we went to today and we were really impressed with one in particular. That's in that might be in the video. Did you talk about that in the video? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get to the end. Oh, yes, we have sold the Mac. Um, thank you for all of those that got in touch. Um, we kind of did it on a first come, first serve basis because somebody was has shown interest before. Yes. And it has gone. Uh, I don't know if we're going to share who. It doesn't really matter. But that has I been just that has been dealt with. Okay. So you know who you are. Thank you. I think it's going out tomorrow. Is that the plan? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of postal companies are not sending to Russia or Ukraine. It would make sense. Okay. Uh, there's I'm questions a... about the app. Did you want to talk about that? Um, we can quickly touch on the app. We have a bunch of helpful people, thank you if you yes. are watching, who are trying out the app and answering some questions for us about what works, what doesn't. It's highlighted some problems that we knew were issues and others that we now need to fix. Um, we're still working on it. That's where we're at. It's such a huge task. It's such a huge ask what we're trying to do all in one thing that we are working as hard and as fast as we can on it. Yeah. It's been interesting letting people get their hands on it. 
most of it has worked fine. There are issues which we need to address. Yeah, but we knew that it wasn't going to be a case of let people play with it and it'll be perfect. It's quite away from that. So we still will have work to do. And we are aware that we are now the, what are we, 13th of March already. Well, we're closer than we were before. We're edging nearer. <laughs> yes. OK, should we share some stuff? You, you've got your arms full with a dog. I've, I've got my arms full. I've got a little bub. Um, yeah. <laughs> you comfortable enough there, Jeff? Yeah? <laughs> right. So, uh, let's start here then. Now, you may have seen these. They're fairly common. Um, I've sold them before, but prices seem to have gone up. We found three different coloured Coca-Cola can glass... Glasses, drinking glasses. I think these were the were they McDonald's. Hmm. I think they came with McDonald's. We used to have some of the more um, curved shaped ones, didn't we? Those sell quite well as well. But I, I, I picked them up without looking them up. I think we paid a pound for the three. Yeah, this charity shop was amazing. Oh, we found a lovely little charity shop. Near, That's in the video. Too. Near Felix Day. <laughs> but people have been achieving £15 and beyond for the three. Um, I've seen some individual ones go for a tenner, which was a surprise. So they are worth looking out for. We'll probably do them as a three for somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> are you actually turning into Del Boy now? <laughs> I think I might be. Um, in Felix, though, we popped in a charity shop. And there was loads of this... What is it again? Royal Dalton Wild Cherry on a shelf. And I had to double check that the price was right because it was marked at £2.50 for a big heap of it. Marked down. I think they were having a clearance. Um, but we bought a big box full um, because it looked quite good quality. It was Royal Dalton. Yeah, £2.50 is a steal. And then I looked just to be... Just to get an idea, I looked up the jug because there was a jug as part of this big uh, box full. And the jug has sold for £10 quite easily on its own. So we figured, yeah, let's just go for it. Why not? Like we need more stock. But there's a bunch of uh, side plates. We will probably sell those as a little bundle. There's a bunch of... No, yeah. these are more... Yeah, that's a side plate? Side plate. Yeah, that's a side plate. And then there's some bigger ones and then some dinner plates and some cups and the jug... Big box full. So probably I estimated, what, about £50 worth, I guess. Plates, for example. They're the side plates. These are the medium ones, all with the same. Yeah, what are they called? Cake plates? Cake Would plate? you refer to them as cake plates? I'm sure, I'm sure there's an expert in the chat that can verify that. Medium-sized plates. Well, they, did, they were dinner plates as well, weren't they? They're quite big for a cake plate, even. Mm. Anyway, we thought, you know... Salad plate. Yes, that's it. Salad you. plate? Lunch plate. Mm. <laughs> Canada has suspended... What was that? I was just reading more. Canada has suspended delivery service to Russia and Belarus. Yeah, I would imagine a lot of countries are doing the same. Cake plates... Salad plates. Cake no, I think I've heard them referred to as cake plates, but yes, uh, salad plates as well is something I've heard. So we probably wouldn't have gone on this unless it was in the clearance at two pound fifty. Were there any cups and saucers? There's cups. Oh, do you think the little ones are saucers? They don't have. I don't think so. There's there's cups like this, like small, um, small mugs really, but. If saucers tend to have that little yeah, circular really indent, they? and these are too big. Yeah. Oh, that's strange they don't have any saucers unless they're coffee cups. So I guess they're coffee cups. Or the saucers were all smashed. There's also bowls. I did look up a listing of bowls. And they tend to sell okay. So we'll do all right out of that. Like I said, we wouldn't have normally. But because it was that cheap, it seemed really rude not to. <laughs> so we did. It's just that you see, that to me doesn't look like a coffee cup. Because, you know, I like a pint of <laughs> coffee. I like one like this. Compare sizes. Look how small <laughs> this is. Compare, look at the size of that. It's like a bucket. I don't want to drop my 
coffee on Jeff. Yes. Anyway, so that was uh, a fun pickup of breakables, and I spotted it and decided we should go for it. It's like I've been converted to the way of the breakable. I know. Well, I did see it, but uh, because we were we were going to walk back to the car, and we weren't supposed to be sourcing really, and <laughs> I, I didn't look at the price, so I just I saw it and I thought. I discounted it immediately and carried on looking for smaller things. And then you pointed out how much it was, and we were like, that's a no-brainer then. That's coming home with me, and it, it's heavy. So I, my arms were falling off by the time we bought, like, I don't know, a quarter of a mile back to the car. No, further than that. We are quite away. Anyway, uh, breakfast plates. So in the listing, we're going to put salad stroke yeah, some, cake stroke breakfast. Said any any food plate <laughs> it's, it's a plate this size that's what yeah i think i've heard them referred to as cake plates or salad plates so yes yeah, we'll probably go with salad hello plates. kimmy kitty hope you're well how did jeff enjoy his little holiday well he is wiped out <laughs> <laughs> this was him all the way home in the car um we did a few stops at places we wanted to explore with a mind to living there so we dragged him out of the car, woke him up every time, and then did another like couple of mile walk. It was just he's just shattered, completely out for the count. Look at his little face. <laughs> He'll be snoring in a minute. Yeah. But yeah, I think he enjoyed it. He did get really anxious when we left because oh, oh, it was I think really upsetting, wasn't it? Because we packed his stuff in the car. Yeah. He could sense what was going on. He thought we were we're taking him taking him away again. somewhere. Yeah. Because he's been through that trauma, of course, only, what, how many weeks ago? How many weeks have we had him? Three, four? I don't know, about a month now, maybe, maybe a month. So it's still fresh in his mind that he got uprooted from his home. And he whimpered and cried a lot of the way until he fell asleep, didn't he? I know, it was just really... And then he was fine when we got there, and he realised that we were staying in the in the Airbnb with him. Yeah, it was just heartbreaking, because <laughs> we couldn't tell him, we couldn't make him understand. We tried telling him, oh, we and did. It, it, we were like, Jeff, no. we're just going away for the weekend, it's fine. He was just going, ah, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> yes. Um, um, Becky says, Becky, where there. this one? Yeah, um, our little dog was like that every time we went on holiday, poor thing. Oh, oh I hope, no. I hope you can uh grow out of that, Jeff. But then you see, we went, yeah, but I think it's because we packed up the stuff, but. We went to obviously visit Ellen in Brighton and he was fine, you know, but we obviously didn't pack his stuff. Mm. Um, quick question to anyone on here. If you're a professional reseller, do you literally have to record the purchase of price of every item for tax purposes? As long as you're recording what you are spending on stock, it may be, I mean, with all of these items, for example, we bought them in charity shops, so we will have receipts. Um but for example, if you go to a car boot sale and fill up the car with stuff, you need to record that, the total amount spent. You don't necessarily have to break it down to every indi individual item. We tend to do soft toys times five, three pounds, whatever it is. CDs times 50, 10 pounds, you know. Yeah. But So you can break it down that much, which I think is perfectly acceptable. That's what we've done for years. Um as long as you're keeping a record of all of your expenses and all of your income, that's what you need for tax, pretty much. We did a video on it with an accountant, Aaron, a friend of ours, which is still on the channel. So if you search Nick Hill's tax, I think that should come up. Yeah. There's a few videos about that sort of thing. But we always say we're not tax experts. If you need an actual answer, go to an accountant. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we share what we do. Um, right. I'm having to wiggle my fingers because we're Your arms, falling asleep. Your arms are going numb. <laughs> About to go full time. Well, enjoy oh, it. See, that's a good idea, isn't it? Thrifty Shutterbug says maybe he needs a travel set so he doesn't think he's being uprooted. Travel know. set? Oh, set of... Like things, separate things that we just pack for when we travel. Maybe. Or we we pack his bits away when he's not looking in a bag and quickly put it in the car because he wasn't he didn't do the same thing when when we last went down to see ellen well i just said that i said but then oh. i didn't actually pack all his stuff did i because he see he watched me like 
packing in his food and, and all of that and his blankets. Oh, bless him. I was wondering how he would be having to pack up and head off. He's clearly relaxed and content. He'll soon feel less anxious with changes. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. You know, he'll have learned this time. Well, we came home again. Yeah. He's going to be insecure, isn't he, that he's not this isn't his home it's going to take a while yeah. i mean generally he's been absolutely fine he's so settled you know he rules the sofa and he's yeah. he's a very contented little thing these days but still has a lot of anxiety let's put it that way oh took him for a walk on the beach for, um well we've, we've taken him for a walk on the beach in brighton but this was i don't know it was different somehow it was sandy for a start but um, I walked him in the morning and he got really anxious about the sea. And he started doing that. When he gets anxious, he, he tries to jump up in my arms. <laughs> and he was doing all of that. It was quite amusing. Well, you know, I wasn't laughing at him, or bless him. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vinted, we have. Not so much now because we've moved away from clothing, which is most of what Vinted do. Yeah, I don't sell on there. Um, not currently. No, I think George does. Well, there is a video about it on the channel. You did one, didn't you? Yeah, I did back back when hmm. I used to list some stuff on there. Hi, Susan. Tax man, not interested in individual items, just totals. Yeah, Ooh, total okay. spent on stock, total income from stock. Those are the figures you need. And then running costs, obviously. So your postage and your fuel costs and all of those, anything spent in the pursuit of you know, running your business. That's all claimable as well. Good evening, Thomas. Hi, good to see you. James is in as well. I'm full-time at two days a week and more than my last job. Oh. High five. Right, a few people sharing about tax. Um, Leanne's asking, was Jeff excited when he arrived home again? Why? didn't seem to be overly excited he was happy to be home he was shattered <laughs> that was yeah yeah he was happy to be home he's just straight on the sofa and fell asleep <laughs> more more relieved i think yeah. but look that's that's how shattered he is just asleep with a smile on his face <laughs> oh yeah and then the second time we took him to the beach we, we both went down there didn't we mm. and it was like he was smiling wasn't it he just looked so happy <laughs> it was really cute uh question nick and andrew i've got two ebay accounts one is letting me use gsp and the other account it's been removed have you oh. both or anyone else experienced this we've not noticed it on we we have one main selling account we do have a second one but yeah I've got a gsp still working one that we use every now and then for personal buys but um i've not heard of that issue it might be worth a call to ebay that or go into your account, see if you can just switch it back on, because GSP is an opt-in thing, so maybe somehow there's been a glitch and you've been opted out. I can't see why it should be switched off for any reason. I don't... I would say calling eBay would be your best plan of action, if you can't just switch it back on. Um... Oh, what's it, Gary, saying? Bumped into Danny Dyer and Keith Lemon today, two people... <laughs> Two people I don't like in one place. <laughs> I'm trying to work out if that's a joke somehow. Is that a joke or is that a thing? I, I, I can't see the punchline. Danny so Dyer and Keith I'm Lemon. assuming it's, it's real. Two people I don't like in one place. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I I watched that The Wall program. Mm. Danny Dyer does The Wall where balls drop down yeah, you win I money. Find him a, I like him in EastEnders. I quite I find... enjoyed it. I find you a bit annoying on that. <laughs> he did He did seem like he was someone doing an impression of himself yeah. for a lot of the time. But the actual concept of the show and the jeopardy involved in it was really think, cleverly done. I think done. that's what he's like. I think that is him. All right, the wall, drop it. It was sort of like... I think that's what he's like. <laughs> yeah. But I'd, I'd like Keith Lemon. I think he's funny. Keith Lemon, yeah. But the Bow Selector days. Well, oh, good. Yes. Um, we were thinking of trying vintage, yeah. Give it a try. Um, I'm way behind again. 
Oh, thanks for the tax tips. Another eBay question. Do you leave feedback when a buyer pays or only when they leave feedback? We have it automatically set up. It saves a lot of time and effort. So when we are left feedback, it auto leaves feedback. It's how we have it set up. Um, any more updates on Basil Brush? I've not heard since he's having a party <laughs> and serving drinks. Um, yeah, I'm glad people enjoyed that video. That had a really good response. It was just such a a fun story to share because normally eBay messages are, oh, no, it's a disaster. And these were just really fun that he followed up and let me know what was going on with him. Yeah. Um, he was just exactly the right buyer, wasn't he? Yeah. And the fact that he meticulously took it apart and repaired it and got his voice box working. Yeah. It's so. It's, oh, he he obviously wanted to repair him anyway because it wasn't working well. Yeah, he knew the voice box wasn't working. Yeah, and then I stupidly broke it a bit he more. Was like, and he was okay, like, "I'll just do that. I'll fix the whole thing. Send it over. It's fine. <laughs> uh, you might have to manually opt in again. Yes, possibly. Uh, try that first, and then I'm afraid it's ringing eBay. Um, oh." <laughs> When you just showed Jeff and Andrew's arms, my first thought was he looked like a baby, a baby goat. He was a bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> goat ears? Oh, don't wake him up. He got so much attention and love in Felix, though. Mostly from charity shop workers. Yeah, we, we really loved how dog friendly they are there. Yeah. Um, right, I'm trying to get to the end um oh <laughs> yes i saw the message it did make me laugh i shared that with some friends yeah we weren't we're not looking in australia it's not that <laughs> far a search um yesterday picked up a 1990s coca-cola wood bowling pin in a charity shop for one pound fifty any ideas how to check prices I've seen the USO prices on sold, but none in the UK. Perhaps it's just really scarce over here. Yeah, it sounds like it. Um, I would search on Google, see if anything comes up on a different website. Yeah. Or if if you've got access to Terapeak, you can then search a lot longer back. I think you have to have a store to have the free access to Terapeak. But yeah, should sell well, I would imagine. Right, sorry if we're missing questions. I'm going to try and get to the end. Um, oh, my goodness. The Basil oh, Gary, Brush... Gary said they were filming a new TV programme. Oh, right. Okay. Interesting. Together? Oh. The Basil Brush toy, I think, is not far from me. It's the same venue. If it's the same venue, it's an Italian restaurant in between Bradford and Leeds. Can you remember? Oh, I, I, wow. Without looking up the order, I don't know where I sent him. We've got family in Leeds. Imagine if we went up to see Becky, could pop in the restaurant. Mm. But I don't know if that was his restaurant. He said he was going to a party mm. in the restaurant. Excuse me. I just headbutted the box. <laughs> right, let's share some stuff. Sorry, I'm going to whiz to the end. We're going to miss lots of chat and questions you could put them back in again but we need to crack on so we did how do you all um oh that's gone again traveling across southern united states wow hello <laughs> nice we've done that sort of route we traveled started in florida went across and then up to the grand canyon and then across to california and then down to la that was our route many many moons ago before we had before we had our daughter, who is now 20. Yeah, it was about a year before, wasn't it? Yeah, a long time ago. We'd love to go back and do it again. Right. What is this? Actually, chat, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were asking me. I thought you were, you were I wasn't actually really. asking the chat. Tap point for the first one. It's, it's, it's a simple question, but what is it's that? It's a glass castle. <laughs> How would you describe this? Jelly, jelly, jelly. Yes. yes. Jelly mold. 
Um, oh, jelly mold. Flan dish. Body shaped flan. That's, that's quite, quite a deep fan. Flan. Deep <laughs> flan. We, we went for jelly mold. Yeah. Uh, trifle. I mean, I guess you could. Nothing would stop you putting. I, I think it's. I think it's a jelly mold. Jelly, jelly, it's a jelly. Glass jelly mold. Jelly, jelly, jelly is the. I just like saying jelly. You're not ready for this jelly. The more you look at the word mold, the more weird it looks. Is it spelt that way? I think it's got a U in it. Or that way. I think it's got a U in it. Both look kind of right to me. <laughs> <laughs> Spelling's not my thing. Or this way. Is it a jelly mollad? <laughs> It could be. <laughs> uh, sorry, Becky. I just had to point that out. Uh, yeah, jelly, jelly, jelly. Yeah, the, the the spelling is split. Most are going for a U in the middle. Or not. <laughs> or if you're American. Jello. <laughs> Jello, yes, yes. Yes, our friends over the pond call it Jello. Oh, look. Le Mange, yeah. I mean, it could Le be. Mange. Yeah. You could put whatever you like in it to be honest but we we thought it was designed as a jelly mold and these bubbles would come out in the mold because they're so you'd have jelly with bubbles on yeah anyway what did you pay for this one uh 50p 50p a big spender and you were saying it's something you, you normally pass up and you thought you'd well, experiment I passed them up before but then i thought i would just pick it up because it's only 50p something to learn about yeah there's no like maker on it is there no it's a big, chunky item there. It's a really nice, tactile thing. So that was 50p in a really nice, out-of-the-way charity shop we found. It's a glass brick, says Lainey. <laughs> a glass brick. Well, maybe. And then you picked up a poo. Yeah, I think we've got another one of those, actually. Here's a Disneyland Paris one. It's quite vintage, isn't he? Yeah. Is he dated? I don't think so. No. No, but he is, I'd say, well, Disneyland Paris. So that was after, that was when it changed. So oh. what year was that? Late 90s? Yeah, it was Euro Disney, right? Yeah. Ah. I think he was 50p as well, wasn't he? Yes. And some plates, which I can't pass over. So plates. Two at a time. Same place. They had, like, um really nice charity shop. The sort you re like, just full of stuff. Clearly not a chain, a local charity. Prices were set to shift stuff. While we were there, stuff was just coming in through the door. And lovely lady in there said to us, "If you, you know, there's there's a garage full of stuff around the back. If you want to go and look at more, we were like, yes, please." So we went to the garage and found more stuff. Now these are these the Archipel. Yes, yes, they're Archipel. Well, that's been a little bit rubbed on there. So these are French, then? Yes. They are glass, obviously, milk glass. So milk glass plates. Extra resistant, it says. Um, so we've got four dinner plates and four side plates. Oh, yeah. Salad plates, cake plates, breakfast plates, dinner plates, plates. Right? All with the same design on. Really nice. Yeah. They've obviously been used. There's a little bit of wear on to some of the transfers, but not bad at all. All the same design. We ended up with four side cake, plates. cake plates. I think that's side, side plates. plates. We'll say that now. And four of the, what's that? About 12 inch dinner plate. Yeah. Yeah. And they were a pound. I mean, this shop was priced so, you know, she just wanted oh, to yeah. move stuff. Yeah. And we were like, she said, come back. We said, we would. Well, we will <laughs> one day, but we, we weren't local, obviously. Yeah, next time we're down that way, we're definitely going in. I think we'd be in there every other day if we lived local. And then for a pound, I picked up this. This was the first thing you spotted. So what are we thinking? 60s? Potentially. It's Danish. We had a little Danish thing, nice. like teak, little teak Danish serving. It's a very small one that went... That went quite well. You're not going to see, but it says up here, made in Denmark, stainless steel. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, stainless steel, made in Denmark. Stainless steel and hardwood little handles. Nibbles. Yeah. 
Nibbles? Serve, serving platter. You'd have like, yeah. Oh. Twiglets there. Stephen's in with the information. The Archipel pattern is called... Hang on, hang on, hang <laughs> on. Wait a minute. Scania. I thought they were trucks. Scanias. Maybe Jeff has got a funny tummy because he keeps farting. Has <laughs> he farted? I can't <laughs> smell it yet. Scania. I'm going to write that down. Scania pattern. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen's in with all the info. Hope you're doing well, Stephen. So, right, we'll add that to them. Try not to lose. We end up with notes all around this desk at the end of the night sometimes. It's I like do. I found some on my old desk. And then we had to try and match them up with the stuff we brought in. <laughs> we were like, right, which what one? What are these random words for? What does yeah. that mean? Yeah. So they were really nice. That They're probably my favourite thing that you found, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, I love those. But I do like this. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I need to give that a good clean. It's got some... Maybe just a bit of old grease or something. <laughs> but yeah, I'm thinking a bit of twiglets there. Some uh, hula hoops there. Some volivons. And a couple of volivons. Oh, very 80s. <laughs> very 80s. Or what's, what what nibbles do I like? I do like a volivon, actually. Oh, um, cocktail sausages on sticks. Cocktail sausages. Oh, my God. No, you're obviously vegan for me now, but just the memories of that sort of time. Squares of cheese. Squares of cheese on a, oh, on yeah. a thing. No, that, you need a hedgehog. Need, you need a hedgehog for them. You need a cabbage. Cabbage. <laughs> Cover a cabbage. Half, that's a hedgehog. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what was it that um, Darren covered? What did, what did he have? What didn't have a cabbage? Potato. A potato. <laughs> a potato. It's a potato. Anyway, we like that. Oh, Ray says Danish SS antique slow burner. Oh, they're a slow burner, but they do sell. Okay. Danish stainless steel antique. SS slow, antique slow burner, but they, slow do burner sell. but they do sell. Okay, cool. Yeah, for 50p or a pound in the same <laughs> shop. We weren't going to leave it behind. Wait for someone to say that. What, <laughs> what RH said. <laughs> Shame on you, Andrea, blaming Jeff. I was waiting for someone to comment. <clears throat> well, he's asleep. He can't, he can't argue. I need a drink. Have we shared everything already? He blamed Monty <laughs> earlier. Yeah. Yeah, 1970s yeah. surfing platter, yeah. We're thinking 70s, are we? Well, 60s or 70s, it, it's the kind of stuff my nan and granddad used to have. Yeah. Definitely. You're slowly, slowly slipping off my knee. <laughs> Why are we talking about the prototype car? Is oh, someone asking? This is the, the usual question. The, the question. See if I can find it. I can't see it. 5,100. Was it 5,000? <laughs> I can never remember. Somebody must have been asking what our, our best sale ever was. And yes, yeah. it was an Atari cartridge we sold for over five grand and we, we bought a mini with the proceeds. Um, <clears throat> I doubt we'll ever beat that for a return on investment because the, the cartridge owed us about a pound. We bought a job lot of games and in it was this one cartridge that we knew nothing about. Yes. Sure, Nick will have a cork somewhere. For the farts, <laughs> should we cork him up? No. Oh, he's looking no. at me. He doesn't like that idea. Uh, mini sausage rolls. Mm. Not so much a fan of that. I do like the mini, the mini sausages, the party sausages, mm. and I don't mind a bit of cheese on a stick. Well, so I, I really like chopped up peppers dipped in sauce. You know, dipped oh, in. Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh. You know, a bit, a bit of red like a, pepper. Yeah, like one one of those sort of dip tray things with a bit of um, um, <sighs> thousand, thousand Island dressing. That's what I'm trying Ooh. to think of. Or a bit of garlic dip. Or a, yeah. Yeah. Carrot stick and dip, and I'm I'm happy. Yeah. Party food. Can't beat it. Um, stainless tea sets are popular at the moment yeah, i sold I've two a, i've got a coffee pot haven't i interesting um we were talking briefly about it earlier we 
it's in the um we sent a version to some friends who are playing about with the android version uh it has thrown up some issues that we need to solve and some things that we knew we needed to solve um it all takes time but we are getting there so you're both hills we have we have have hills just how many hills are in this chat <laughs> are you a hills wow um cola flipper mate has he made 30 grand oh wow yeah for those earrings that he he fixed. sold them you must have done i have i've missed this i'm gonna have to message lee that's insane no did he 30 grand i'm gonna have to find out about that he'll be buying another blooming porsche <laughs> We haven't looked at a lot of social media while we've been away. I've not kept up with what Lee's been doing. He's probably on holiday in Hawaii right now. <laughs> um, right. Did we share everything? Are we done? Yes, should we I just, think we've should we just chat with the chat then? Yes. I mean, it's 10 to 9. So, 10 minutes chat. And we can... I'm trying not to listen to Dancing on Ice because I don't want to know who's going through yet because I need to go go and watch it afterwards. Oh, yeah, it was on later, wasn't it? Any I did because we've got the door open. I can hear it. Any advice uh, on grading records? Picked up 20 today at Jumble Sale and looking and looking great shape to me, but is there a guide? You'll be able to find a guide quite easily online. I don't know if Discogs have one. Probably do on their site. All I would say is I would be super cautious. So just... If you think it's near mint, maybe say it's very good, possibly nice. near mint, and then just explain everything that you think might be a problem, if you see what I mean. As a collector, I would rather read a great long description that says it's got a tiny bend on this corner, there's a tiny mark on side B. Apart from that, it looks in excellent clean condition. Rather than just ticking a very good condition box, I tend to write it out. Is that making any sense? But there are there are sites I'm sure you can find. Like I say, Discogs probably has a grading. So you can just pick a very good for the sleeve, excellent for the vinyl. But I'd rather write it out and just describe it exactly. But that's me. I've <laughs> seen Stephen said, shush, I'm on a diet. I want to talk of food. Cody Flipper's made a video about his £30,000 fine. Oh, but has he sold it? I knew that he'd picked up something that was quite amazing. And we spoke to him about getting it fixed. He was buying equipment to actually fix the piece himself, wasn't mm. he? Um... Oh. Anyone had this problem with eBay? I had someone else's item on my shop. That's weird. Phoned eBay and they said they would look into it, but never did. So removed the listing myself. Never heard that. Oh my goodness! They've really That's got issues if they're weird. if they're moving people's items from shop to shop. That really shows how much we rely on them getting things right. You know. Yeah. Deary me. I've been doing a lot of updates and adding new features and everything recently. And I've noticed that thing, things are going a bit skewy. A bit skewy? In certain areas. Uh, Leanne says, I don't think uh, Lee has sold the earrings yet. They were sold new for over 30K, but one was damaged as well. Waiting for the update. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I hadn't heard that he had. Christina bought a sparkly silver necklace for six ninety nine. Turns out to be white gold and diamonds. Ooh, might be a keeper. Might be a keeper. No, flog it. <laughs> yeah, you you would though, but if you buy something that you really love and it's wow. cheap, then yes, I say keep it. It does amaze me what people find. Lex is always finding like bits of gold in charity shops mm. and all sorts of amazing gear. She knows what she's looking for. Yeah, we should teach ourselves because we don't even really look at it. Do we sell much for Royal Dalton plates? Um, only if we find them. We tend we do sell plates every now and then. Yeah. Um, Scandinavian stainless steel normally sells well. Well, I think the Scandinavian stuff does better, doesn't it? It's more sought after. 
Um, yeah, just confirming. He's not sold them yet, and he won't get anywhere near 30K. Yeah. So we are rapidly approaching the end of the chat. We normally go for an hour. Uh, it's just... Yes, I've heard of Zipsell. George, I know George um, uses it, and we were talking with Zipsell. They approached us to do a promotion, and we've been so busy. Because, yeah, because of the app and we haven't, the house ready to sell. We chatted with, uh, I think she's the MD, wasn't it, the lady we spoke to? Yeah. Uh, lovely lady, and she wanted us to try it out for them and maybe make a video, and we just haven't even stopped yeah. to try it out. So yeah, but hopefully there will be a, a hopefully in the near future. <laughs> yeah, we will we will work with them soon and and share it, share our thoughts on it. I mean, if you don't know, Zipsale is like a cross platform lister. It does the work for you, but we haven't used it, so I'm not going to recommend it because I don't know what it's like. Um, and that's where we left it with this lady whose name I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, but if you do you fancy trying it. Um... Other than George, I think Josh has got a code as well or a link or something. Yeah, but, Josh um, did a video about it, didn't he? Yeah, so head over to Josh's channel. He'd appreciate that. <laughs> I bought two cat picture prints for pence. They turned out to be Louis Wayne originals sold for three grand. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's that... brilliant. That's an antiques roadshow moment. I that, is. that is. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, yeah, you did find out who had Mr. Tat. Um, Lainey can tell you. I can't remember. I can't remember either. <laughs> can't remember, Pete. Keep nothing, sell the lot, can't take it with you. Well, this is it. But it's nice to enjoy stuff for a while, isn't it? Um, right, I'm going to try and get to the end because I'm probably way behind... <laughs> I've given up on charity shops. I only visit a couple of them, maybe once a week. They are too expensive. I tell you what, our experience this weekend was the opposite of that. We were gobsmacked. I mean, that set of Archipel plates for a pound, mm -hmm. that entire load of Royal Dalton for £2.50. Yeah. You'd struggle to get those prices at a boot sale. Definitely. But I am aware certain chains and certain places have definitely changed their pricing structure, shall we say? But yeah. yeah. And then again, that it, it's um it depends on what town because you can go in to um British Heart Foundation in one town and it's really expensive. You can go somewhere else in the in another part of the country and it's all reasonable, you know, good prices. So it really depends on who's running it and what the town's like, I think. Mm. Um, similar here, Christina bought a cladder, cladag, cladder. I don't know. Pendant for mum thought it was silver, but was white, gold, diamonds, and emerald. <gasps> Originally four hundred pounds, paid wow. five. Wow! <laughs> High five. <laughs> uh, Zipso asked me to do a video and review it, but I never got round to it. Yeah, we we've been trying to get round to it. Okay, let's. Zipsail is not a Russian company. Um, we spoke to a very lovely lady who was in London. One of our best sales wasn't value, but we had a plate of an Indian chief. We sold it to a buyer in Canada who was the great great granddaughter of the chief. <gasps> oh, wow. That's all. I love those stories. It's like the, our little um, story of, of Boom Boom. What's his name? Um, as a brush, as a brush, <laughs> it's great when you when you find out a little bit of uh, the history of the item or where or its life after you sell it. It's awesome. B. Okay. Anderson wants to know if you've been to the doctors yet. No, I could be in trouble from the chat again. Been busy. I know. I need to go and get myself checked out. Um. I have a Beatles album that is brand new, is worth $10,000. I'm scared to sell it on eBay for the fear the person buying it might say when they open the album, it wasn't the right album. Yeah. So it's still sealed then. 
It is, it is a tricky one. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Went in a charity shop, asked about something in the window to be told nothing in the window is for sale. What's the point of that? What's the point of it being in the window? That's where you advertise your wares. <laughs> we saw, it. we were somewhere today in one of the towns we wandered around. There was a model kit, quite a nice aeroplane model kit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I may have a little go at that. Went up close. £65. <laughs> I'm thinking, what? That's crazy. I was thinking a fiver, I might give it a go. No. Stu's in with the jokes. <laughs> Looked under a blanket in the garage the other day and found a Lamborghini Countach. Even better, there was a signed photo of William Shakespeare in the glove box, which was a nice bonus. <gasps> well done, Stu. Wow, that's amazing that somebody managed to get a photo of William Shakespeare before the cameras were even, <laughs> were even invented. <laughs> amazing. People are talking about sales. My best sale was a £2 Doctor Who Sonic screwdriver. Managed to sell it for 75 Wow, I have no idea they were worth that. I was just about to say, actually, before you read that out, that it must the car must have belonged to Doctor Who. <laughs> so travel well, back in time. <laughs> that's how they got the signature. <laughs> Taking a photo of William Shakespeare. <laughs> oh. I went to a charge shop the other week and they were charging £12 for some vinyl. It wasn't even anything that rare or special. Crumbs. Yeah. Yes, there's some optimistic pricing. We saw, see, we did see some of that optimistic pricing at the weekend, but also we saw and bought some incredibly cheaply priced stuff. It's perseverance, isn't it? And, reg and going in regularly. Yeah, I just want to read out what Queenie says. Um... Zipso creators are Russian and Ukrainian. My thoughts are with their staff at this difficult time. I've been using Zipso for a year and they've all worked so hard on this site. I didn't realise, though, yeah, well, when somebody said it's a Russian company, I was meaning it's not like a company in Russia. Um, or maybe it is. Well, I didn't think it was, but then I might be wrong. I'm sorry. Um, but I didn't think it was. I thought she thought she was living in London and she created it living in London. I don't know. I, I thought that's the impression I got. I'm too tight to pay to use a cross list tool. Rather spend money more spend more time doing it manually. Typical Yorkshire man. Thanks, Chris. Right, I'm at the end. I'm at the end. So we normally wrap these up with a uh, word of wisdom. It, it's become a thing we do. Um, so if you pop in some words of wisdom we will pick one or one each depending on how we feel jeff might pick one. Oh no he's still asleep <laughs> totally totally out for the count so if you can think of anything to leave us on thought for the day words of wisdom okay so derek says zip sale is uk and has foreign developers so that makes sense so it's a uk company and the developers they've hired were okay. foreign Okay, interesting. Um, <laughs> this is this is yeah. We have that much influence that we influence these great big charity companies. It's yeah. We were thinking about maybe doing a video on that, but it's just yeah. Okay. Um, are there any words of wisdom coming in? True leaders aren't born; they're made. Um. Oh, you've had the snowflake ones. Yes. J.A.J. Pyrex with snowflakes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's always been a good one. <laughs> a lot of things don't matter much, and most things don't matter at all. Realise this when I was diagnosed with cancer at 29. Makes you realise what's just what's important 29 yeah, wow crumbs clearly you are yep. still with us jill so I, I know exactly what you mean jill i've had those moments in life where <laughs> i had a, a, a real aha moment when i was sitting parent teacher um interview thing with ellen once um where, where they were talking about her maths and how she wasn't that great at maths and i was just sitting listening to this woman waffling on about maths and i thought 
this really, this, this really doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter whether yeah. you're good at maths or not. <laughs> well, you you went th when you went through your open heart surgery. I think you oh, you came yeah. out the other end changed because yeah, I, I didn't know if I was going to survive it. So you know, yeah. When you when you have sat down with a doctor and been told these are your percentages of surviving this operation, mm -hmm. it, it sobers you up a bit quick about uh, the yeah, reality of it life. It really does, and you, yeah, you totally realise what what matters and what doesn't, and it's it's the people that it's people and dogs. <laughs> People and dogs. <laughs> For me, you know, other people love cats and cats. birds and uh, Gerbils. all the animals. It's people and animals. <laughs> Let's go for that. People and animals. Uh, when all said and done, eat sausage rolls. There you go. On a 1970s <laughs> tray. Yes. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, we burst into song into like, um, <laughs> the sausage rolls song. Jeff is so lovely. You're getting some love, Jeff. You see. Yeah, he's so cuddly. He's out. I'm a Vulcan, live long and prosper. Once an eBayer, forever an eBayer. Um, oh, there's more sales coming in. Best sales a book on the rebranding of the Muppets. Bought in New York for five cents, sold it for 60 pounds. Uh, right, let's read out a few more. Keep strong, keep well, and keep on selling. Don't tie your shoelaces in a revolving door. What? <laughs> um, turkeys will drown looking up at rain. Don't be a turkey. That's a fact. I didn't know. <laughs> That's bizarre. That has to be the strangest one we've ever had. But yeah, okay. Uh, no matter how much you think you want or need it, the past has to remain just that, the past. Oh, that's deep. Deep. All that glitters is not gold. <laughs> Always make sure you are near enough to blame the dog. Yeah, that's what you, yeah. It wasn't me. Jeff's farted, it we wasn't know. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've had the we've had the yellow snow I think one it before. Comes up every week, doesn't it? Let sleeping dogs lie. Yeah, uh, Monkey Thrifter says, what Jeff says is what you follow. Woof, woof. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. People talking about reselling, talking about talking about some of these finds we've just discussed. Right. And I've had it many times. Nick, how are you? How are you so lucky? Uh, because I get up at 7 a.m. and go to a boot sale and walk around it for three hours, and then I travel to another boot sale and walk around that one for three hours, and that you put yourself in the position to be lucky. In other words, you make your own luck. You work hard, and in, and things happen. Um, yeah. So. And if you're successful, you don't arrive just suddenly being successful. You work at it, and you, you're there because you've worked towards it. Yeah. Um, okay. Should we leave well, on that one? From well, yeah. Or did that's you want your to? One. Okay, for I'll me, go with I that. Thanks, Adrian. It, it is. Um, I can't remember exactly the words, but knowing what's important about. Okay, let me see if I can are, find it. A lot it. of things. This one. No, hang on. Was that that one? Oh yes, Jill says a lot of things don't matter much, and most things don't matter at all realized this when i was diagnosed with cancer at 29 yeah it it's, sometimes takes something it's that it's about your tragic family to... your friends and yeah and all the animals <laughs> but we do get wrapped up in stuff you know like ebay like a, a problem customer like a yeah. an annoying return and at the end of the day it really doesn't matter if you've got yeah, yeah. your health yes i know i need to go to the doctor's um, yeah. Okay. Wow. Got all deep at the end. <laughs> Thank you for being here with us. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I'm just going to pop down to the end. Oh, I see. Turn up, turn up when we're going. Is that how it is these days? <laughs> um, yeah, we're just wrapping up. So thank you for watching our little mini haul. We 
we were quite pleased with a few things we bought this weekend. Yeah. Even though we're not sourcing. <laughs> and thank you for your words of wisdom. And we will see you next week. There will be a video on Andrea's channel about our exploits at the weekend. Yeah, with sometime some, next week when I've edited it. With some charity shopping, with some Jeff on the beach, a tour around our where we were staying. Yeah. And, and a tour around the house. Yeah. Tour around one of the houses, the other one the people were living in, so we couldn't film there. Yeah, but that was a heck of an experience. <laughs> we don't need to go into that. Which, oh, my word. Um, anyway, are we done? Yes. Okay. One last look at Jeff. Do you want to say goodbye to Jeff? We have worn him out. He is dead to the world. You mean? There you go. Say, go now. say no. goodbye to your people. No, I've woken him up. He's like, really, Dad? Really, look Dad? Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. He's, uh, oh, he's going back to sleep then. Here he goes. <laughs> he won't go to sleep while I'm staring at him. He's going. He's going. He's going. Yeah, he, yeah. He's gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right, um, thank you so much for joining us. Please uh, hit the thumbs up button on the way out and we'll see you next week. Well, Remember to week. sub sub to Andrea so you can see the video of our weekend. Oh yeah, and Jeff's got an Instagram. He's um, the.daily.jeff. There you go. Bye. <laughs> Bye.